Good morning, Malacanang uh, Press Corps. Let's now have Presidential or Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, Salvador Panelo. Good morning, sir. Good morning. MPC members? MPC questions. I'm ready if you are with your questions. Rose Novenario. Microphone, please. Sir, good morning. Sir, ano na po yung update dun sa pagkaka... Yung, di ba may nilabas si Presidente Oy, na drag, before that drug matrix? Before that, I might forget eh. I'd like to thank Governor Dodo Mandanas of Batangas for entertaining us. Happy birthday again. I must commend the, the Batangas officials. I've never seen such a very clean city. Just like Davao City, napakalinis, hanga-hanga kami. <laughs> pati mga sidewalk, ubod na linis, pati doon sa outskirts, napakalinis. Ang galing ng mga official dyan sa Batangas. And the Capitolio of Governor Dodo, imposing, beautiful. Laki, paganda. Kaya pala labito ng mga tao dyan. Eh. Thank you. Hi, sir. Good morning. So, no, ano na no, po no, nangyari? No, no. <laughs> I, was, I was with, by the way, I was with uh, Executive Secretary Bing Bong Mal Medaldea. Yes. No, game na, game na. Game. Over. <laughs> Sir, ano na nangyari dun sa kasong, dun sa inimbestigahan ng NBI tungkol sa pagkakasangkot ni ex-superintendent ano, Eduardo Asierto sa drugs. Di ba naglabas noong October last year si Presidente ng Drug Matrix? Nakasama si Asierto, si Fajardo, et al. Ano po nangyari dun sa investigation after six months? I think it should be addressed to the NBA director what happened to their investigation. We have po, not, I've not received any report on that. Kasi after five months, siya pa ngayon yung parang nasa propaganda offensive against the government. Eh, samantalang no October, siya yung ibinulgar na sangkot sa drugs. Tapos ngayon, parang baligtad yung sitwasyon. Siya yung nag-aakosa ngayon sa isang malapit sa presidente. But the, his accusation has been, I think, expressed earlier on. In fact, he did not attend a house probe. That is why PNP chief said that if that is true, the report you're saying, why didn't you do something about it? So may, ibig sabihin sir, yung, yung sa kanya, yung pagkakasangkot niya sa drugs, <coughs> yung accusation sa kanya ng presidente, ano nangyari doon? Ngayon siya na yung nag-aakus eh. Uh, well, let's ask the NBI kung ano nangyari sa kanya ng akusan. Hihilingin niyo sa NBI sir na mag-submit ng investigation report? We will, I think the director is listening, so we, uh, we will await for his report on the matter. Thank you. Okay, Pia. Pia. Sir, what was the basis of President Duterte in defending Michael Young from uh, the allegations that he's involved in drugs? Was it a result of any investigation, sir? Anong I suppose the President, President will not be saying anything without any <coughs> basis. Also, common sense will tell us that he's not involved. According to the President, Ambassador Zhao slept in the house of Michael Yang. And we all know that Chinese government is against illegal drugs. And the ambassador will never associate himself with anyone involved in drugs. But sir, yung friendship niya with the ambassador, is that enough basis to clear him of any allegations? long friendship, the fact alone that you're an ambassador of China and your government is against illegal drug industry, how can you be associating yourself with somebody you know to be involved in drugs? Obviously, talagang hindi siya involved. Bakit naman siya magkikisama doon? Pero sir, is the palace aware of any investigation done on the allegations against Michael Young? I suppose the president will not say anything without any basis. So he has his own information. Of course. Thank you, sir. Raymond Tinasa. 
sir, but uh, considering Henry. the the seriousness of the allegation uh, of Henry uh, Raymond pala rather a shirt to <laughs> sir considering the seriousness of the allegation of uh, a shirt to will you or won't you challenge or urge him to uh, present evidence or proof i already said yesterday that if if indeed what he was saying is true he should have filed it when he was still connected with the pdea in fact that is what the PNP chief is also saying, why didn't you do something about it if that's true? So the trust and confidence of the president to Mr. Michael Young as a special economic advisor remains. Unless you can show proof that he is involved, the trust and confidence remains. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rosa Dicos and then Tina Mendez. Secretary. Yes. Um, Ayun po kay Asherto, meron pong mga, meron po siyang sinabmit na report sa Malacanang, sa dating PNP Chief De La Rosa, as well as sa Senate. Can you confirm this po? Kung nakatanggap nga ng... I have no personal knowledge of that, whether they have received that. You have to ask PNP Chief, the NBI, the PDEA. Pero kabilang po ang palasyo sa sinasabing nakatanggap ng report. Galing kay Asherto na nagsasabi po na involved sa drugs itong si Michael Young. To whom did he give the report? When? Hmm? He said it was given to the palace. Yeah, I, uh, palace. Who, who in the palace received it? ES. Executive he Secretary yes? Medel Day. I will ask the Executive Secretary if he did receive one. Pero sir, how about the allegation na kung may natanggap man ng palasyo ay isinasantabi yun ng Pangulo dahil nga po sa association kay Michael Young ng Presidente? Let me repeat what I have repeatedly said previously. This President will not tolerate anyone regardless of the stature or relationship with him if he is involved in drugs. He will never allow it. He's against it. Sir, ang Malacanang po ba ay kilala rin ng mainam si Michael Yang? Ano yan? Kilala nyo rin po ba ng mainam yung background niya as kung Chinese businessman sino, sino, si kung, Michael Yang po? Kung, kung kilala nino? Kayo po, ang palas. Uh, ako, no, I don't know him uh, personally. I just know him that he's from Davao and a businessman. How about the president? How... How, uh, yung pong Pangulo natin, gano'ng kakila, kakilala I, I si Michael? I do not know also the, whether they're friends, very good friends. I know that both of them are from Davao. So, yun, so uh, kinoconfirm nyo po yung pagiging malapit sa isa't isa ni Pangulong Duterte at ni Michael. Yang. I did say that. I said I know that they're both from Davao. I do not know the extent of their friendship, if there is one, or relationship, if there is any. Sir, thank you. Okay, Tina Mendez. Sir, si yung PDA Director General Aquino and I think a police officer, si General Cascolan, confirmed naman that they received a report from Colonel, then Colonel Asher. Then the next the question next. is, after receiving the report, what did you do? Dapat saka, we have to direct that question to, to, to that to Asherto or Pidea, to Aquino to and uh, Kung If he receive a report about the involvement of a certain person involved in drug, illegal drug activity, then we should ask him, what did you do? Then, sir, as, a, lo sir, as a lawyer, ano, ang mere association ba with personalities by the president, does it mean he, he, he could be protecting... What do you mean by association? If you see him with uh, taking pictures with him? Taking pictures, said to be close friends, said to but be... Uh, does it make anybody always, guilty always of any wrongdoing Always accommodate anyone who wants to take picture with him. Kung yun lang ang... Magiging base niya, malabo yun. Like me, for instance, people also ask me to have auto -operation. I don't even know them. Pagbibigyan mo na lang. Di ba? Sir, yung perceived closeness kasi parang nakikitang napoproteksyon na ng si la, uh, Michael Yang and another, a, a certain Alan Lim sa mga alleged illegal activities. More apparent than real, siguro. Perception lang. Perception can always be wrong. Or most, or usually, it's wrong. Sir, what could be the basis or political uh, or motive of uh, Mr. Asher? Obviously, the, the motive is since he has been accused of involvement in drugs, 
He wants to get back. That's why he's pointing fingers at whoever. Okay. Joyce Balancho. Sec, when you said that the, the president won't tolerate anyone involved in drugs regardless of the relationship, if, for example, sir, dahil na, na confirm na rin ng PNP and PDA that they have received a report and mapatunayan later on na involved talaga sa drugs si Michael Young, paano dapat ratuhin ang gobyerno si Michael then Young? Then charges will be filed against him if that is validated. How will the president treat him? Or how will it affect the alleged relationship with the president? Just like the way he treats other people involved in drugs, he will go to the ends of the earth to put them behind bars. If they resist under the law, the police officers whose lives are in danger can use violence, lethal violence. Okay, MPC, questions, other issue? RJ. On Michael Young, sir. RJ. <laughs> Michael Young again. Yes. Why did the president choose Michael Young to be his economic advisor? I will ask him. What qualifications does he have? I will ask him. Does that not, does not entail close relationship with the president? I will ask the president the basis of his appointment. His Michael Young has been there for quite some time as his economic advisor. That's why I'll ask him. Huh? All right, so you have never... And then I'll share it with you. Okay. Still on Michael Young. Christine. Sir, you said that um, probably uh, Asherto wanted to get back uh, because uh, he was accused, of, he was being linked to illegal drugs. So is the palace taking him s his accusations seriously, sir? Against... I think... The burden would be would fall on the law enforcement agencies. If they receive reports on alleged activities of a particular person, then they should do something about it. But how, will, how is the palace treating his uh, allegations, sir? We're waiting for the validation of any allegation of involvement. RJ. You are also an advisor for the president, right, sir? When my advice is sought, yes. Yes, yes. and you were chosen as, an, as a legal advisor for the president. Intel? No. Yourself. He's a legal advisor. Yeah, yeah. So how were you chosen by the president? Well, let's ask him why. I do not know. Is it not because of friendship? No. I was his lawyer. Mm-hmm. That could be the reason. I lawyered for him and for his daughter. Okay, thank you. Okay, MPC questions? Pia. Sir, the sister of uh, the late Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago has issued a statement asking you to withdraw your pronouncement that her appointment to the ICC was valid. <laughs> Uh, she said that you should apologize and that uh, your your statement was uh, irresponsible, offensive, and full of malice. It is also immoral and extremely disrespectful as uh, the late senator cannot argue and defend her belief that the ICC was a legitimate entity and that the Philippines is a no, valid member. I think member. Uh, I will apologize for hurting her feelings, but... I think she misunderstood what I said yesterday. What I said, if the theory is that we never were under the jurisdiction of the ICC, it goes without saying, as logic, then any appointment to the international court would be void, if that is the theory. Now, you ask, why, why, is she, why was she appointed? Because the theory then was we were under the jurisdiction of the ICC. Then you ask me, why is Justice Pangalanan still there? I don't know. The ICC may have allowed him to stay. But if the theory is we never <clears throat> were under the jurisdiction of the ICC, then the logic will tell you that anything in connection with that will be void, any appointment to the body. 
So in short, sir, you will not apologize and you will uh, not That's why I'm statement. apologizing for for hurting her, but I think the the concern and the hurt is misplaced. Thank I you, am I am an admirer and a friend of the late Miriam Defensor Sanjay. Okay, Ace. Pero di ba sec ang stand ng palas is the Philippines was never correct under the jurisdiction yes. of the ICC. So given that categorical void po ba yung appointment ni Miriam? That would be the logical consequence of the theory. So it's yes. <laughs> ano po bang magiging result nun? Kung walang jurisdiction from the very start. So diba? apa apparently hindi niya na misunderstand yung yung iyong statement kasi yun naman ang kinagagalit nung kapatid nung late Kaya nga, that's why we're saying na she misunderstood. But, let me say that she was very much qualified to be, to be a justice. She had the credentials. But the, the problem is, prior to the assumption of the presidency of the president, nobody knew that we were never under the jurisdiction of the ICC. Everybody took for granted that since we signed a treaty, then we were under the jurisdiction of the ICC. But the problem is the Constitution requires that law, before it becomes enforceable, it has to be published in an official gazette, in a newspaper of general circulation. And the Rome Statute never was published in a newspaper of general circulation nor published in the official gazette. Okay. That is why the theory of the president, we were never under your jurisdiction. So there's a claim that your statements were offensive and disrespectful. Do you agree? It's not offensive. I think it was misunderstood. Misunderstood? Yeah. Hindi rin disrespectful sa the no, late senator? No, I do not think so. But I apologize because she was hurt because she misunderstood mine. But you stick to that view? Yes, because that is the logical okay. <laughs> consequence of a theory okay. that we had never been under the jurisdiction of the ICC. Okay, salamat, Sek. MBC, questions, Joseph. And then Hannah. And incidentally, she never mm -hmm. assumed the position. Mm -hmm. Sir, can I go back to Michael Young? Young. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so aside from the statement that uh, Ambassador Shao slept in his house, right? So therefore, you're saying that the ambassador could not have been... The ambassador said she, he, he will never associate with any person with involvement in drugs. Okay. Aside from that, sir, um, what do you think is Michael Yang's involvement? in drugs. This is I, have, does he have I, any? I, I I have no personal knowledge about his dealings with anyone. But you're willing to uh, accept the statement of the Chinese ambassador that he is not involved in drugs. That's what he said. So therefore we believe not necessarily. Well, I mean, that this is what he said. <laughs> I mean, I have no I have no personal knowledge whether that is true or not. Mm. Well, what I'm just saying if Asierto is saying that he's involved, then he should have done something at the time he knew of his involvement. Mm -hmm. Number two, if it's true that he submitted the reports to law enforcement agencies, then they should have done something about it. If they have something about it, what was the result? Well, that's why I'm now asking questions to the people in the law enforcement agency. But right now, we're not making any determination. The palace is not making any determination as to his involvement. Well, no, we're precisely waiting for the report. Mm -hmm. okay. You're not going to say that he's not involved, yes? It's, you're not absolving him, in short. There is an allegation, mm -hmm. and let the allegation be processed, investigated, and if there is a validation, then the palace will make a move. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, Hannah. 
Hi, sir. Good morning. Morning. Sir, sabi na Pidea, may 31 celebrities po daw na involved po sa illegal drugs. Yung list po ba na ito, nakarating na sa Pangulo and kung may fresh directives po yung Pangulo regarding po dito. Hindi ko pa alam yun. I haven't been informed of that. Officially. Sir, sakali po, kasi may mga artista po sumuborn na kay Pangulong Duterte nung tumakbo siya. Um, ano, ano po po sa tingin mo ang uh, maging move ng Pangulo kung masasangkot po yung mga artista na sumuporta sa kanyang nakarang election po? Kung may involvement po sila sa drugs or kasama sila sa talaan po? Ganun pa rin. He will be thankful for, he, for the help, but he will not tolerate their involvement. MPC questions? No more? Uh, Ro? No more? Hana, sige. Sir, malapit na po yung birthday ng Pangulo. Ano po yung plano ng Pangulo Duterte sa birthday po? Yeah, the same uh, celebration. He stays in the house and with the family. Oh, by the way, by the way, who's from ABS-CBN here? Why, you, wonder, you know why? Because yung report niyo dun sa, sa DCMM, mali yata eh. Kasi they highlighted yung sinabi ko, yung may magagawa ba tayo? Hindi nila nilalagay yung, hindi nila sinunod niyang, what do you want? Declare war? What we can do is to protest. And my final statement is, we will not allow fishermen to be harassed in that area. Pero yung dalawang komentarista nyo, binabanatan ako at sinabi ko noon na walang magagawa. Imagine, nag Nag-aabogado daw ako sa, kung hindi ba naman. Pero sa ANC, in fairness, ANC, kompleto. Sinabi lahat yung sinabi ko. Eh siguro ikaw nag-report, kaya yun ang hinahil. Baka na. Sino, sino nagbigay? Hinahilight, yun ang hinahilight. Kaya tinext ko yung dalawa. Sabi ko, your problem is you're not reading the entire transcript. Kasi ang klarong-klaro yung transcript eh. Another thing pala. One more thing. The, the statement of Justice Scarpio. According to him, if the Philippines defaults in payment, then pwedeng makakuha yung Reed Bank. Now, Reed Bank is public property. It's a gobierno, di ba? And under the Constitution, pag inalienable property, this is public property, hindi pa pwedeng ibigay yun. Hindi pwedeng ibenta. Pwede mo lang ilis. Kung patrimonial property. Magiging patrimonial property lang, isang public property, kung merong enabling law saying that pwede yan or may proclamation ng presidente. So, hindi po pwede yung sinasabi niya. Kasi wala namang deklarasyon na yung RIP Bank is patrimonial property. Number two, that is his ruling in Chavez versus Public States Authority and Amari. Under GR number 133, 250 July 9, 2002. Siya mismo, it's Justice Scarpio saying that you cannot just <coughs> convert a public property to a patrimonial property. So, hindi mangyayari yun. Apart from, we never renege. As I said yesterday, we owe how much? Two point. Six billion dollars, some Bata nuclear plant, which we never used, and yet we paid that for 26 years. 26 <coughs> years ba? Or 30 years? Eh, ito pa 62 million ng ginagamitin natin. Chico dam. So, in either case, yung concern or yung apprehension of Justice Scarpio may be, with due respect to him, misplaced on account of the constitutional provision as well as in lieu of his own ruling in that particular case I cited. Okay, Joseph. Can I pick up on your point, sir? 
right now, there's no law, there's no presidential proclamation declaring that Reed Bank is patrimonial asset, yes? Yes. All right, we've signed a deal with China this year. This year, last, last year. Can we later on in the future declare what's a presidential proclamation? Halimbawa, it's, it's just going to be easy, right? I mean, if need be. If kailangan siya. Una una, you will not do that. We, because? Uh, bakit yung gagawin? What, is, what will be your purpose in declaring that? To satisfy the provision in the contract. What do you mean to satisfy? <laughs> See, for example. Um, una una, hindi tayo magdi-default. Mm -hmm. Another thing nga pala, before I forget. <laughs> they're, uh, they're saying, critics are saying that arbitration, di ba? Arbitration comes in and... It's one-sided because two of them are members of China. But they're forgetting that under the contract, I read the contract, eh? before you go to arbitration, you have to go to the process of negotiation. Mag-usap muna kayo. If that fails, that's the time you go to arbitration. And assuming that China wins in the arbitration, it cannot be implemented under the contract, under the loan agreement. It has to pass through our courts first. Kailangan may validation ng court natin before that can be enforced. So going back to my question, so for example, so na sign na natin siya last year, and then um, can the president uh, declare the Reed Bank as a patrimonial asset? Maybe within the three years. Sabi nga, sabi ko na nga, he will not do that. He will not. What will he do? Why will he do that? If, uh, if China asks for it. In the first place, the loan agreement has been con has been signed. There is nothing more to add. Uh, Di ba? Okay. Okay, Ace. Balikan ko lang yung celebrity sa narco list sec, no? So there are at least 31 celebrities in the list daw. So Sino? how is Malacanang taking this? Sino? Yung at least 31 celebrities daw na nasa narco list. How is Malacanang eh, taking this? Eh, ganun pa rin. Di ba sinagot ko na yun kanina? No, no. Uh, ano yung initial reaction nyo considering that the celebrities are very uh, we're popular? We're saddened that these people are involved. But we will never tolerate it. Uh, do we expect the filing of charges against these celebrities? If they have sufficient evidence to back them up in court, then they should. Okay, ngayon yung the Duterte, the Duterte administration has been uh, waging a shame campaign against uh, personalities involved in drugs. Do we expect the release of the names of the celebrities? I will ask, I will ask DILG. Was it DILG or PIDEA? PIDEA. Uh, I think PIDEA will have to get permission from the president before he, they can do that. So, is Malacanang in favor or... Pag-aralan muna yung release ng names. I will ask him his position. Okay. And then I will issue a statement. Thank you, Sec. Okay, MPC, may tanong pa kayo? Okay. Okay, thank you, MP. Groves. Okay, thank you, MPC. Thank you, Chief Presidential you. Legal Counsel, Salvador Panelo. Back to our main studio sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network.